So short skirts, they're actually really, really easy to do. I like to do it with just two pieces. We have the front here and then the back over here. You can't see it unless you select your peg and move it out. Our front piece is connected in front of everything and our back piece is connected behind the legs or whatever else you want it to appear behind. And notice the way we rig this, we have a peg that controls our back piece individually and that's plugged directly under our front piece peg. So when we select that, it moves everything together. And that's just important to keep track of your pieces so this back piece doesn't get lost, especially when we can't see it. Throw some deformers on this. You can deform each of these pieces individually. It gives us a nice effect of the dress having kind of a back part. The problem with this is let's say we have a more extreme pose on our leg. When we go to move our dress up, you'll see that our deformers are breaking a little bit. So even though we can connect it here, if we go into our render view, you'll see that our color is kind of breaking. Here's a great option if you need this front piece to be a little more flexible. We have our back piece of the collar that's showing here. One peg that controls everything, but this time we've added a collar cutter. So if you see my video on sleeves and collars, kind of the same thing here. See that video up here? But all we're doing, we have a line on our line art layer and a fill on our underlay layer. And we use that underlay to cut our main collar, which is right here. If I want to get some intense poses, I don't need to use the bottom and break the rig like this. Select my collar cutter and use that as the bottom of my dress. And you'll see, right, it doesn't break as much and I can get a lot more pushed poses. We just have to be aware of where the cutter ends. But if we take a look in our render view, there's no bleeding or cutting. And this shape pretty much would have been impossible to make with our other method. I find this is great for if you're going to have intense poses, if you're rigging really long dresses, it also works the same way. This is unfinished, but you can see I've started that process. I cut the long dress. I just need to add a few deformers and a back piece. I've seen that cutter method a lot, especially when I was working on Paradise PD. I know it's hard to see, but this is a drawover I had from that show. But this woman, her dress was rigged like that. So the bottom part was a cutter. We're able to get some really nice shapes that way. Last piece of clothing we're going to do is a cape. This is an older rig that I did so that no view is a mess, but I do like how I rig the cape. It gives you lots of flexibility and it's not very difficult to do. We have the back part of the cape over here that I can move individually. We have side pieces of the cape over here. And if we zoom in, you'll see that they're cut just like an eye. So imagine this part has the eye white, these parts are the pupils, and we cut it the exact same way. So they can't leave the cape area. Final peg on top is to control everything together. What I like about this is if we take a look at the deformers, our back piece gives us a lot of freedom to move this cape into different positions. We take our side pieces, and if we adjust the deformers on those, really does look like this is the front part and the back part of the cape together. If we need to get rid of this, all we need to do is just move it outside or we can create a new blank drawing swap. But either way, we can have both the underside and also the back of the cape showing. Now for the back view, what we could do is we'll have another drawing swap that's the exact same as our first one, just kind of that different cape color. Since they're the same, we're not going to need to have any new deformation chains, even when we switch between them, which is kind of nice. We could even leave these pieces in the back to kind of help shape the cape even more. If you wanted to add a piece in the front, we could add a new drawing piece, plug it into the cape, we'll plug this behind everything, and then kind of like the skirt at the first part of the video, draw some small squares or circles and fill those in. So we fill those in and add some deformers on them and of course change the pivot point where we want it. We now create that illusion of the front part of the cape showing through. 
and these pieces you could turn on and off with a simple drawing swap when you need them. Those are the three kinds of approaches I take to rigging a skirt, a long dress, or a cape. They're all techniques that we've used before. We're just kind of repurposing them for these pieces. Like the cutter on the dress, we got that from cutting the sleeves. The way the cape is cut, that's kind of how we rig an eye. It all comes back to those basic systems that we kind of recycle, repurpose for different parts of the rig. Once you get comfortable with those, then you can kind of experiment like we did with the back view of the cape to kind of modify them and make them work for you. That's why rigging is so fun. Let me know in the comments if there's any other piece of clothing that you want me to cover on this channel. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, okay, bye.